Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dead God Plus Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again. Last time we played as Mastema and got a few unlocks. By the way, there was an issue in the last episode with the unlocks for Mastema. The same goes for Andromeda, but they have been fixed. Thank you to Hybrid who helped me to fix those issues, the developer of the mod very swiftly so we got that sorted anyways we're gonna jump in to another randomize i'm playing straight on from the last episode just because i want to because i'm having a hell of a time playing this again and we're gonna be going blue baby with the better devil deals and i'm like pleased to see some of these characters again it's it's nice hello mr blue baby let's go i'm also gonna try i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say for sure that it's all like i'm gonna guarantee that it'll stay high but i'm gonna try and get a reasonably decent win streak going on here. I mean, I'm gonna play risky, I'm not gonna completely take no risks, but at the same time, I'm probably gonna take, um, I'm probably gonna take a few less risks as the streak gets higher, but I will not sacrifice fun. I would never sacrifice fun. Speaking of fun, ooh, it's Petrified Poop 2, Electric Boogaloo. Speaking of fun, the question of the day, what is, I, I, do you know, I started a sentence, I don't even know what I'm going to say. Um, let's think of an actual question here. <laughs> I'm, uh, this is the, this is the only problem when I do like back-to-back -back episodes. I don't prepare enough questions of the day. This, this is my question of the day. Ask me a question. I've asked this one before, but you can ask me a question and bonus Leave me a question of the day to ask in future episodes. <laughs> it's kind of cheating a little bit if I just ask you to give me one. Also, sissy, hell yes. Uh, it's kind of kind of cheating if I just ask you to give me one, but also, it's it's my channel. I'll do, do, <laughs> I'll do what I want. I'll cheat if I want to, but yeah, ask me a question. And also, as a bonus, let me know of questions you would like me to ask for question of the day. Because people are more creative than me, and especially when I'm doing back-to-back -back episodes, sometimes my, my brain, my brain don't work. Also, dip? Where did that dip come from? I mean, I'm not too sad to have gotten hit. I mean, look at our money. Our money is stonking right now. But, like, yeah. Oh, God, a nickel as well. Okay. Oh, this is an XL floor, which is kind of unfortunate because... For one, I was hoping to have more time to get health ready for a devil deal, but also it means less shops and money is going very well right now. By the way, you may also notice we're starting with like petrified poop and there's some different stuff going on here than you would normally see for Blue Baby. That's because not only did Blue Baby get an updated rework recently with the devil deal costs and the blue flies from poops, but I'm also using a mod that reworks him so that red health can be turned into dips and um, he starts with petrified poop. Starting with petrified poop, I've kind of said this before, it might be a little strong. It probably is on the stronger side, but honestly, I'd rather him start out a little stronger just because he, even with the new rework, he's a very plain and uninteresting character for the most part. So adding in some extra intrigue is not a bad thing in my books. Um, I think I can do this and stay safe, right? Okay, yeah, cool. Little worried there. I doubt this will be our secret room, but I feel like I have to check it. Okay, good. But yeah, because of this, we're going to be getting a lot of dips and a lot of money. The thing, what the one of the big things with with starting with petrified poop, you get a ridiculous amount of money early. You can see how much we have already. It it it, it really scales out of control pretty quickly. And like I said, it might it might definitely be on the stronger side of things, but I don't really mind. And I'm I'm sure, or at least I hope you guys don't either. But yes, like I said, I'm jumping straight into this one straight after the last. I'm, I'm just in a very... I don't know about you guys in terms of viewing, viewership, um, but ha having this new thing with the with the post-it notes and stuff, do you know what? I will definitely take that. I don't care about the money. I love this thing. Uh, has kind of reinvigorated my interest. I was still loving Isaac, playing it daily and everything. I still think Isaac is a brilliant game, especially modded Isaac. I enjoy it quite a lot, but... This has really given me even more reason to play it more often, which is probably not a good thing. I already probably play it a bit too much, but I don't mind. I want to play it more, and this is giving me more reason, especially with the unlocks for the modded stuff. Boom, bow. Yeah, especially with the unlocks for, like, the modded characters and stuff. What we got here is a blank card. Do you know... 
I haven't had a blank card run in a long while. I did just get Bob's Rotten Head, and I do like it, but didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. I'm going to take blank card. Hello. This was unexpected. Um, Degas, thank you. Anzus, and I guess I'll just use the Anzus, and we'll keep the error. Excuse what is happening? There's so many donation machines in here. <laughs> I don't need all these donation machines. Yeah, I think blank card is pretty good. Obviously, blank card Yera doesn't work. So let's just pick up a card and see. Blank card Sun is pretty good. I realize that Yera is probably better. And do you know what? Let's at least carry our Yera rune into the uh, second secret room. Because we might get something worthwhile out of it. I don't know what. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I haven't had a blank card run in a very long time. Like a very long time. So I'm a little more intrigued by it. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like that secret room's reasonably common. An actual single penny? I can't believe it. Um, hmm. I I'm just trying to figure out. I realize I'm taking a lot of time here and losing the opportunity to use Boss Rush. But I'm tr just trying to figure out, is there a good place to use my Yera here? Not really. I'm just going to pop it here to get myself an extra bomb and an extra key for free. It's, it's really not a very good usage of a Yera rune. But at the end of the day, like, I probably should have used it on the Degas. But I didn't realize there was a Yera at that time, so... It's kind of like whatever. And I think we just take the sun card. I think it's, it's good because it should be a reasonably decent charge. But also, it's going to give us mapping every floor, which is really, really nice. Um, and it's going to give us damage to one room. So, I'm not going to use it on the bosses here because I feel it's a little redundant. Uh, ooh, I love this. I love the way that the charmed version of him can just attack something that is literally attached to his own body. Imagine having a conjoint twin that, like... There's got to be a video out there on the internet somewhere of conjoined twins fighting. I, that sounds horrible, and I, I, I kind of hope it doesn't exist just for the sake of my humanity. I don't wanna, really want to have to see that, I'll be honest. But at the same time, I'm like, it's got to, right? Spawns two batteries. That's actually... Wait. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a burger flipping minute. Okay. That's fair. You you did good. That would have been pretty bad otherwise. <laughs> I was like, hold on. Hold on. If this isn't a 12 room charge, things are about to get real balked. The sun card is a 12 room charge though, which is pretty saucy. I mean, I suppose. Oh. Why, game? You have to tempt me. You have to tempt me these ways. Oh, I, I hate the way that Blank Card does this when you drop it. Buggers up your charges. It's a pain in the ass. So now we don't have a charge for, like, no reason other, other than... <laughs> fuck you. Uh, so, yeah, we have Damocles. Um, probably gonna die... I've not I've not had the best track record with Damocles recently, but I'm intrigued. Basically, we just try and go a really long time without getting hit, which I feel is incredibly unlikely. Yeah. And of course Damocles is gonna double our item spawns for the rest of the run, and we just have to hope that either it never it, we never get hit. We got hit. <laughs> uh, we have to just have now we just have to hope it never falls. Which, uh, literally at any point, it could. Um, unfortunately, getting Damocles out the Devil Deal, while very good, didn't give us any significant increase to our current DPS, which is leaving a lot to be desired right now. Um, and causing some significant issues with these runes, as you can clearly see. Hello, sir. You are charmed. You should be firing at me. I am your dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Uh, let's carry on. We have to rebuild our charge here. Just, 
Like, now that Damocles is activated, I don't have to try super hard to not get hit. But I should still try reasonably hard. I kind of knew coming to Downpour that there was going to be a chance that I got hit reasonably early. Downpour isn't exactly a flaw that I find super easy. Um, I always have some trouble with it. We'll have to see. Damocles could just fall and absolutely wreck our soul. The battery is... Whatever, I guess. I'll, uh, I'll pop this again. And we'll pop that. Sharp plug. No, thank you. I mean, it doesn't give us a soul heart, so it doesn't really work. But I guess there's some synergy with sharp plug potentially. There's like potential for a game break with that. But yeah, I'm kind of interested in blank card with modded cards. I hadn't really even sort of considered the possibility of messing around with modded cards until that double one drop. Do you know, I think I'm going like blind recently because I just walked right into that bomb fly and just didn't even bat an eyelid at it. Walked right into that bad boy. I think I'm legally blind. But yeah, hopefully we can get some good items that really increase our stats a good amount. I'm just... I know that this run's doomed. Like, da I've had Damocles fall incredibly early before. Also, I made... I didn't make the sprites for this enemy, but I made the re-sprite for Dross for that enemy, and I'm really happy that the Ipecac devs used it. I spent a lot of time making it. It's pretty interesting to do. I'm happy they used it. I just... I, I, I made the rooms with that enemy and was like, hey, this needs a Dross variant. So they were like, we should make one of those. And I was like, hey... I've done it. <laughs> it didn't take too long, but it took a lot longer than it should have done. I've never done, like, respriting before. I've never done spriting before, to be honest. So it was a little bit of an adventure, but I think it turned out pretty well. I think it looks pretty good. Um, at this point, again, we're kind of, like, at the point where using the sun card doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, so let's have a look what we get this time. So we don't really know what we're getting here. We got giant cell and host hat's pretty good. Okay, host hat. First hat's pretty good. Giant Cell, not so much, but Hurst Hat, I like that. Hurst Hat, I like that. Right, let's go and do our boss. I don't know if I'm, like, looking to do Mother this run. I kind of want a run that's as short as humanly possible, really. Um, for hopefully apparent reasons. Ah, oh, this is, I think this is, this is going to be a struggle, this. Do you know what? I'm going to plant a bomb on you. I know I only have one, but I really need to speed up that fight. And I might even use my sun card here, even though I know I shouldn't. My god. Why do I keep taking such bad damage? Don't worry, we gotta fire it up. And flakes of gold. Boy, flakes of, eh, flakes of gold spawning a troll bomb. Evil game. Why must you do this to me? Right. And then we come into whatever room we want. And we pop this. I was just about to say, get our secret room, we don't have a bomb, but now we do. And flakes of gold with a golden poo. Counterfeit penny, probably a little better for us than, uh, I don't know, petrified poop, golden petrified poop's probably pretty good, even without the poop. I feel like it's pretty good. Ooh, this is a slightly tough room here. I could certainly take some damage in this room if these guys don't cooperate. Which, honestly, they are right now. They're staying in their station. They're staying apart. Go away, troll bomb. Head Keeper heads are just tough enemies in general. Reasonably high health. They steal your money, as you can clearly see. Oh, god damn it. What's happened to me? I'm just taking such bad damage now. Damocles, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I, I can see it in your eyes. I know it doesn't have eyes, but I'm picturing it having eyes. Ooh, baby. Glitch card. Now that, that's some, that's some intrigue right here. Because, uh, am I full-blown? Am I a full-blown silly billy? Because I think I am. I'm losing rapid amounts of HP for seemingly next to no reason whatsoever. It's, it's quite bad. Something happened to my brain. I was dropped on my head as a child. Who knows? Either way, we're getting through it together. You guys can join my stupidity. I really, like, this may sound a little sadistic, but 
a little part of me like enjoys it when I when I like absolutely flail on a run and just do exceedingly badly because I know that there's just one person watching that's just sitting there absolutely seething even though it's like just a dude playing a video game and it really has no impact on their life at the end of the day. Um, but I just, there's some people that take, like, watching YouTube really seriously and, like, backseat the hell out of the game. I don't really have too many backseat commenters, um, to be honest. But, like, um, I've, I've, in fact, I have very, very few. Uh, but I, I do find it kind of funny that there's probably, like, some viewer out there that's just seething that I'm making such terrible mistakes. I know that sounds really sadistic of me to, like, be enjoying someone's pain, but you kind of get the idea. <laughs> it's like, I get to make a mistake and I, like interesting um feel reasonably justified okay this is a 12 room charge i'm kind of getting a little sick of all the 12 room charge cards can we can we get a blank card that isn't dookie please it's not dookie but like because i ain't your alabaster mm. i do want the alabaster box i will say that but with the amount i'm getting hit recently i think taking it would be just the most colossal of mistakes also, you just completely ate shit from my pet rock. You can't stop my pet rock. He is the best boy. Okay, good bit of HP here. Um, That was rather nice. Okay, we got Lusty Blood, very nice. We got Pandora's Box, which currently will give us something yes hey that's really good okay and i think honestly i'm gonna take both of these both one heart deals both pretty good a health down for a damage up hell yes okay i think we're sitting pretty right now i think we're in a decent position like i said damocles is kind of looming which is why i'm not going to the extra rooms or like doing my due diligence here but I feel it's okay. I feel the looming danger above our heads right now. See, now this is a room I really shouldn't have done. Oh, lusty blood is so good. Oh, I got a luck penny out of that. Beautiful. This is why gold flakes is so good. Gold flakes is like such a fantastic boss item. And I love the fact as well that it gives you a golden trinket. So like you can kind of pick your trinket and play it right and actually get a really good golden trinket out of it obviously we didn't really have the option this floor that's another thing as well it's like it's not like it's always good you need the trinket to kind of enable it to be good it's not just by default oh this is gonna be really overpowered but it can be which i, I think is fun my pet rock is just chilling we got two chests here yes um i will take that we also got this bad boy which i'll uh crack open Eh, unfortunately not much from that. But then again, they can't always be winners. Otherwise, the chest would be a bit overpowered. What the hell? Okay, that guy looked really weird because of the champion that he was. We got a range down and two keys. I waited 12 rooms and I got a range down. That sounds like one of those, uh, one of those t-shirts. It's like, I did the so-and-so and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. And all I got was two lousy keys. But you can see my, my terribleness continues in the damage that I'm taking. And I'm still taking just unbelievable amounts of damage. So, you know, Chariot on a two-room charge, that appeals to me a little more here. That appeals to me a little more. I still don't know if it's the right choice. Come on, little dudes. Come on, my little fellas. Dude, what are you shooting at, little boys? My little dudes? My little friends? My little guys? Focus up, people. Focus up. Okay, so we definitely want that. I should check this. Not really that good. Yeah, that was a terrible room to use that in, obviously. Uh, obviously, we want to use Mysterious Gift here to try and get some cool stuff going on in a secret room. But first, we have to find the secret room. So let's do that first, shall we? Okay, secret room. Do we have a bead on secret room right now? Not any of here. Could very well be here. Could also be the other side. Okay, it is here. 
High Priestess. Okay, let's go back over this way. Get Mysterious Gift. Obviously, Mysterious Gift has the potential to be like Lump of Coal or the Poop, which for some reason in Secret Rooms, it's been the Poop more and more often recently for me, which is a little upsetting, but... I don't think that's too bad. I probably should have kept the Reverse Tower, I'll be honest. The Reverse Tower probably would, would have been a very good idea. It's okay, mistakes were made. Uh, we got Spirit Shackle. Spirit Shackle is fine. It's not amazing, um, but it will help. And we continue on our warpath. Hopefully, we don't have to do too much backtracking here. I did not fortunately make this room take exceedingly long to travel through via my own stupidity, because for some reason I used the Reverse Tower in a room with very very little floor space to actually accommodate the reverse tower it was a burn-headed move to say the least come on you get back over here good 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 okay we got our boss we unfortunately are gonna have to backtrack for our item room but because we have Damocles, we're kind of damned if we do, damned if we don't. Because we have Damocles, we kind of have to go back and do our item room for the double item. But in doing so, we increase the chance exponentially of us getting hit by Damocles. Now, one thing I do want to quickly sort of check out is we just got Spirit Shackle, right? Um, if I remember correctly, doesn't Spirit Shackle... Let's just have a look. Upon death, as it tends to a ghost, so... I, I kind of think maybe Spirit Shackle gets us out of Damocles, right? Because it says upon upon dying. If that counts for Damocles, there's, we've maybe got an out here. Like, we maybe, we're maybe not guaranteed to die. So, maybe Spirit Shackle will prove to be a little more useful than, than I initially thought. Or on the other end of the spectrum, it won't count towards Damocles because it's not technically a times one extra life on our health bar. And so, we will just die. And that's probably the more likely effect. I think Damocles will probably take precedent and we will be maimed and destroyed. But you've got to you've got to have her. You've got to have her. You've got to sit here and believe. Believe that Blue Baby can fight the power of Damocles. And just for the most comedic timing of all time, Damocles will drop in three, two, one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and not that I wanted to die, but I, th I just, I thought it'd be funny if I counted it out and it actually happened. Now, it's gonna, it's gonna drop at some, like, time where I'm specifically speaking about, oh, look, it hasn't dropped in such a long time. And it's gonna go, pop, and you're dead. Puberty. Honestly, the, I don't really understand why the glitched card is such a high charge, considering it can give you, like, random negative pills as well. I suppose it can give you some really strong cards. Okay, I don't want either of them anyway, so that's fine. We've got Common Cold, that's whatever. And we've got the Sailor's Hat, which is actually pretty good. Speed upgrade, and we're going to be shooting shots that leave creep. Okay, make our way back. We've taken an exceedingly long time. I've been using that word a lot recently, but I've been, we've taken an exceedingly long time on this floor, so I'm a little wary of... Um, the ever-looming death blade that hangs in the that hangs with our life in the balance. But what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And that thing is Damocles. Ooh, gives you three full heart containers for the current room. It doesn't tell us how many how many charges it has. I'm gonna take it anyways. I do know that this card can be a little glitchy. I've had it sometimes where it removed. Heart containers, um, which it shouldn't have. He's really poorly and nervous towards me. I'm really liking the sailor's shot, giving us all this creep on the floor. Okay, good. And we did get some good stuff there. Blood Clot obviously being the better of the two. And we'll carry on. So we'll see, we'll see what Lust ends up doing. It might just be that the standard is 12 room charge. I'm not sure. Like it might just be if a modded if a modded card isn't specified for, for a blank card, then it just defaults to 12. That might end up being the case. I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't claim to know. We'll find out when we use this. I, I have a feeling it's a, it has to be specified by the developer. We do have some bombs here. I'm not gonna do all of these, but I'll do a few. Damn. A few quick and easy kills here. 
and then Lusty Blood comes in to kill the big boys. Golden key there, lovely. But yeah, I don't even know how this card will end up... Oh my god. How this card will end up functioning as... I got hit twice there. Beautiful. As Blue Baby. Because it's three heart containers, but we can't have heart containers. Oh! One of my favourite items. Ex... Do you know, I'm not, I'm not sad about these items, but that is not the item that was on the pedestal, and I really liked the items that were on the pedestals. These two ended up being very nice, I will say that, but that is... A little bit of a shame. Toy plane is pretty nice. PhD, don't we have false... P I don't even know how this works. Balls of steel, though. I know how that works. Right. Carry on. Ah! The sternies. Right, let's pop this. Okay, so that did give us the speed down, obviously, for the room. It did give us the heart containers for the room. Okay, it, it seems to work. I, it's a, it's a, it's an eight room charge. I don't know if that's good or bad. God damn, I'm getting hit so much. I say I'm getting hit so much. That was just me walking into something. Do you know what? I really like my reflection plus piercing. This is really fun. Oh, oh, dancing around it all. And there's clear rune. Do you know, I'm going to I'm gonna try and get clear rune for one reason and one reason only. Well, for, for one, apparently you get two items when you try and get clear rune. But the other reason is I have a bit of an idea tootling around in my noggin. Sadly, we don't have a Yera card, but we do potentially have something quite interesting. And that's Old Urn. Which is going to drop three soul stones and give us a soul of Cain. Which I wasn't expecting, but I'm very happy with. Now, you may be thinking, hey, soul of Cain's really good when you pull it with clear rune. But what about the time? What about the fact that there's a Damocles hanging over your head with your life and the balance? Yeah, that's true. That, that is very true. But also, now we have like... A lot more red runes, which is really fun. And I've never had a, a, a really good clear rune run, so... It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, we got our ultra secret room, even. I wasn't expecting that. What are we going to get? We get marked, which I feel I just have to take. It's kind of the lore at this point. Um, also, cracked key. Cracked. And... Cracked key. Cracked key. It's for extra rooms, you know? Oh, you stupid idiot. Wait, what? I cracked keys the... My brain hurts. Didn't I just use cracked key on the... I'm so confused. What happened there? What was that? Ooh. I, I kind of do want to hold that just in case Damocles falls. But, like, it's all okay in there. <laughs> I, I was like, ooh, I want to build my streak really high. And now I'm like, damn it, please. Damn it, please. Way to revive. Nah. Soul of Cain? Hell yes. <laughs> also, is it just me or do, like, is my reflection just, like, not doing anything anymore? I've also realized we don't really have all that much damage. And also, like, taking marked is probably not the greatest idea when I'm trying to go for runs. But I said, early on in the streak at least, I'm going to take risks. I'm a risky bis bisky. I don't like playing it easy. I don't like playing it the, the, the bitch way because it's more fun to risk everything and gamble. I like. Um, and I like. Right, down we go. Damocles still looming over our head. Take a sip of my drink. Beautiful, beautiful. Soul of Cain.
I'm going to say six room charge for a solar cane is pretty good. All these soul hearts dropping on the floor is also really good. Ace of spades is pretty good too, but I can't put away my baby. You didn't die? What the heck? What pill is this? What kind of dog is this? We get a damage up from that, so I think that's very worthwhile. Like I said, our damage is like not great. It's not terrible. Like you can see we're killing stuff pretty quick, but the actual stat itself isn't great. There's our ultra secret room again. And remember, we're getting two items because of Damocles in these, so that's always fun. We get ourselves Eye of the Occult, which is real fucking fun. And the Mark, which is real good. Yes, Eye of the Occult plus Marked is so fun. Right, once I think once we find the... Um, I love this. Once... Oh, stupid. I backed into the other room. Once we find the Ultra Secret Room, we should just, like, move on and not spend too much time on the floor. Because otherwise things are going to get wild and Damocles is going to hit me. And I still don't know if Spirit Shackle is going to save me or not. I feel like it could, but I feel like the, the higher chances that it won't. <laughs> This is a hellish adventure. Ugh, this bloody enemy. Moss, why are we getting so many soul heart drops on room clear? It's very nice, but it's also very strange. This is such a, such a cool synergy. Just having this like hovering ball of tears, especially with piercing, makes it even more interesting. It's just a shame that we don't have higher shot speed so we can, like, keep up with it sort of thing. If we could have higher shot speed, we could kind of really race the tears around the screen. Surprising you hit there. Hello, Mr. Fred. <laughs> Look at that. That's so good. Let's take care of these guys as well while we're here. Seriously miss? Okay, there you go. And then we're off, off at an angle, so Mr. Fred dies pretty fast. We get ourselves Silver Ring and Stapler. Ooh, hello. Wasn't expecting you here. I'll take it, though. Should just walk into a fire, you know. Lump of Coal is real nice for us right now. Pentagram is also really good. I'm very scared. Very scared of Damocles now, because this is a very cool run. And I know it's just going to come to a crashing halt. But yeah, Lump of Coal seems like a real good fit for this run. We need Spectral. Spectral is something we don't have that seems to be... Like, seems it would help us. I don't really want to use Clear Rune um, in a room where we're not going to open multiple doors. Feels a little wasteful. Okay. Oh, I love the ghosts that these guys spawn. Beautiful. Look at the ghosts, look at them go. It's just kind of beautiful. Right, let him take care of that. Pop in here. Okay, it's pretty dookie. We've got quite a few rooms here, so let's go for this. There it is. We found it already. It's very, very nice. Very, very good. Hello, sir. Could you pop up for a second? Okay, good. We've got Scarlet Chests unlocked. Very nice. we got Flip and Heartbreak. I don't really think Heartbreak's very good. Flip is... Th these are both, like... Yeah, honestly, these are both items I'm not going to take. Unfortunate, I know, but, like, I don't really see the point. Excuse me, you're alive. Why? Okay. Goddamn, Damocles. You're scaring me. 
You're just sat there. He's just chilling. Menacingly. Why do you have to be so evil? Beautiful. Like I said, I probably could do to see a hell of a lot more red rooms. But I just, I just, I don't want to. Nope, we don't need to smell anything. We're good. Right, what you got for us, boss? Oh, this is Mum's heart already. I don't know why I thought we were on the floor prior. Okay, good. And you're dead. Health is still okay. We're gonna go... But this time we should be able to go hush and not... Um, not get messed up. I realize it's gonna take extra time, but like we've got so many keys and like so many items to get here. It feels wasteful not to not go for it. That seems incredible. It seems laggy, but it seems incredible. Uh, a confessional spawns upon clearing a boss room. Ooh, that's a really interesting item. I don't need it right now, but that's a really interesting item. Okay, I think we'll grab that. Let's go for this and see how this goes. Wait, does Cricket, oh no, Cricket's body does work. I was th For a minute there I thought Cricket's body just didn't work, but it does. I feel like this is where Damocles is gonna fall. Right before like our first major completion mark. It just makes sense. Now, I don't really know how strong we are in terms of damage for this. I think once we kill a few things, we're going to be feeling pretty good because we're gonna, our damage is going to go up a bit. We, we are always already quite red, so I don't know why that is. Also, Little Horn, dude. Are you going to, like, I thought you attacked things. Or do you just have the laser attached? Is that just your, your stick? I don't know if I need to be, like, moving the tears around to do more damage as well, like... Is that... Okay, there you go. So, we were already at full damage, apparently. But yeah, it's like moving the tears around, helping. Oh, you're applying the, like, weakness debuff. Now, if you could do that to the boss, that'd be real good. I don't know why you're not targeting him. Maybe I've got to, like, sweep across him. That was a bad idea. Didn't really work. Oh, my bear cage dude is, uh, is triggered now, though, and he does actually a good amount of damage, so I don't mind. Yeah, I think, I think, like, wiggling it, like, passing the tears over him rapidly does seem to help. I don't know by how much, but it feels like it's doing something. I love the fact that we're wearing this little sailor's hat while all of this is going on. Oh, my God, look at that. Beautiful. It's a shame that my little ghost isn't targeting him, but I don't know if he does target or if he only... It's only enemies that pass by. Also... All you red ghosts, get in there. You could be doing so much more to help. But yeah, for some reason the first hush kill we got just spawned a golden chest like to end the run. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time. Because I do want to go and try and do thingy. Otherwise we're going to the void. Which I feel is an, a bad idea. Okay. I feel I'm going to get hit a few times here. We've got to accept that. Keep forgetting we're Blue Baby, I'll be honest. He's going down quick, though. His health is very, very quickly depleting. I think we're just about done here. There you go. Okay. Actually spawn the uh, thingies, please. Okay, that, that it did work this time. We did pick Polaroids. We'll go up. I can open up a red door there. That's very strange. Don't know why that is. And we've, we've made it reasonably far. Considering... Considering the odds that are right that are against us right now. There it is. Finding it so early here, it's great. It's exactly what we need, because like I said, we can't be messing around. Champion belt and BFF. Spawns three random hearts near you. I mean, we should at least pop that. That was two. 
That was not three. <laughs> I don't know where the third one went. I, I love this synergy. This is so cool. Also, I really like having BFF too. BFF feels very good. Very nice. One thing that maybe we should do is pop this more often for this reason exactly. Because we might get stuff like this. And as much as this seems real dumb, I'm taking this. I know that that's put us down to one heart. Another devil deal. Yeah, I realize that's put us down to one heart, and that's a, like a bad idea. Speed down. Friends till the end. But my thought process is now we, we we die easier now, but now we cannot die to Damocles. Like, even whether Soul Shackle would have worked or not, we cannot die to Damocles now. But yeah, my, my reasoning for using Clear Rune there was just like. It could spawn a special room, so maybe just using it to see if it spawns special rooms. But now, now we can explore a little more with it, I'll be honest. We can we can be a, a bit more free with it, because Damocles dropping isn't really a problem anymore. I still obviously need some HP to try and get through the rest of these floors, otherwise it's going to be kind of rough. But I'm not like completely up Shit's Creek without a paddle anymore, which I kind of was before. I would like to keep my luck rather than take the damage there. Okay. If, if Damocles doesn't fall this whole run, I will be very surprised. That would be kind of crazy. Right, um... Oh, you're a host. I didn't realize. Dude, come on now. Stop being a shit. Stop showing off to all your mates. Okay. I mean... Like... Can I just, like, do this? Just try and charge it like this. I did die there. So... Okay, Damocles fell. I just realized that's what happened there. Damocles fell. So, we, we are now... No Damocles, but we are now in a much, much better position because we have, we don't have that looming worry anymore. We also did just get the Cancer Trinket, which is pretty incredible for us here. Okay, let's make our way back down this way. I didn't realize that room had enemies in it. <laughs> that was stupid of me. I really hope we don't lose this run now because I've like risked risked it to be safe from Damocles, but had Spirit Shackle not worked, we would be 100% dead via Damocles. And actually, no, Spirit Shackle didn't work there, did it? Like, we just proved that it didn't. So we would be dead right now if we hadn't have taken Nine Lives. Nine Lives, while making the rest of the run significantly less safe, it has made the run as of right now significantly more safe. We are still alive. We're still here to tell the tale. It was a very lucky find as well, because it was from a devil deal from a red door room, which is, yeah, un unlikely to happen. But yeah, I am, I am loving this just beautiful synergy we've got going on. Okay, my little haunt dude is targeting people now. I died to something. Oh, it's a blue fire. Okay, let's not lose too many more lives. I, like, while I do have quite a few, they're not unlimited. I'd, ri I'd rather like to keep a few of them. Spare, just in case. Let's not lose one on this room. This room is an easy one to not lose one on. Good, good. Okay, this is really where the first sort of challenge is. Like, Isaac's not that hard, but he can kind of screw you sometimes. May the odds be ever in our favor. Okay, I don't know what I was talking about. He just got insta-wiped the... Oh, happy days. Oh, joyous joy. Let's see what we get. No Damocles on these chests, unfortunately. Would be nice, but... Tech Zero? That's pretty nuts. Yeah, Tech Zero has uh, 
kind of cracked this one open a little bit, hasn't it? It's going to get real laggy when there's a lot of stuff on screen. But things are going to die very quickly. Did you try to bomb me? I have Hurst Hat, sir. Okay, we, we need to take that. I don't care about the speed down. We need some HP. Oh, yes. This is damage. This is true damage. Tech Zero has kicked this bad boy wide open. No real good re rooms to use our soul. Uh, our red, red Doran. Okay, this is a good one. We'll use it in this one. Hey, we've got a library here. That should, that should be Bookworm, right? What? Where are you? Oh, there you are. The Bible. There's Bookworm. There's some HP. I think we didn't finish that last room there, you know. Apparently. I think I didn't fit, wait for war to actually die. Good, good. You're dead. Oh, beautiful this. Is this a secret room here? It is. Tainted uh, rocks have been unlocked. Beautiful. We're unlocking a lot of cool stuff from Repentance Plus here as we go. This is another way for us to get a bunch of HP. Absolutely guaranteed victory now. I mean, it kind of always was, but even more so now. Okay. Oop, there's a thingy boy. Okay. I will actually check for a crawl space real quick. We'll never know. <laughs> I didn't realize the blood patch would sit on top of it. Okay, no. It's just there's nothing under it. Okay. I've never seen a map without anything under it before. That's weird. Okay, there you go. This feels really similar to a Revita run I had recently. Which was pretty stonking good like this one. Oh my god, the damage. It's just nuts. Skullex. How did that not... Okay, it did kill. It did kill. I was going to say, how did that not kill you? Okay, hey, blue baby. It's time to go. Bye-bye. No delirium for us, unfortunately, but we will take our victory. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.